Greetings, everyone. This is First Centurion 753 with a, another episode of the Access Spain series for Total War. Not Total War. Um, Hearts of Iron 4. Hearts of Iron 4. Uh, and we are in October of 1939. And it is October 17th. And uh, Poland is still around. They're holding out. The Russians did not intervene. <coughs> Excuse me. Excuse me. Russians did not intervene, uh, so it's, I guess it's taking a little bit longer for the Germans to conquer your uh, Poland. And it looks like there's some pockets of resistance here. Um, that's a number of resist number of troops in Danzig, and uh, looks like Danzig, the region of Danzig, is where they're holding out most of them. Uh, and wow, look at this. There's almost like a salient here uh, where the Germans are breaking through. That's just their Blitzkrieg tactics right there. Yeah, there's some armored divisions. Panzer division right there breaking through and the infantry's filling in. That's typical uh, World War II uh, tactics, strategic tactics by the, by the Germans, by the Nazis. Naval combat is occurring in the Western Mediterranean See, so we've got a battle here. Um, there's been some naval combat. They're disen their convoy is disengaging one of our submarines. So I've got submarines floating there. Um, I am in a tough situation. I've got uh, good control of the seas here on the African coast, it appears, I believe. Actually, the British seem to be reinforcing a little bit. I think they landed somebody, actually. Yeah, they landed somebody up here. With this 4th District Cavalry. That sounds like a colonial uh, unit to me. I've captured Gibraltar, which is good. And, uh, sorry, it's been a couple... It's been about a week. Or a few days, at least, since I played this. So I'm just trying to refresh. For some reason, I have three infantry divisions going up against an armor division. Which may be a complete disaster, but we're winning. So that's good. That's a French armored division that is being driven back. Organization is down. Strength. Still got some strength. Our divisions. Yeesh, getting nervous there. Uh, looks like we estimate that the battle will last for another 150 days. Oh my god. Uh, Italian troops have landed here in North Africa to support our advance on uh, the French here. Uh, but our primary advance seems to be failing. It looks like we've lost a number, well, we haven't lost divisions, it's just they've been, uh, driven back. Ended up being more of a piecemeal attack than I wanted. My f troops were spread across the line, um, and they advanced in piecemeal, which is today one at a time. And it looks like they have a general here, and that might be another flaw on my part. Um, for the third army, I would like to actually have assigned, I should have probably assigned the general here to the third army. But I am out of commanders. Or no, there it is. Alright, so I can move my commander. Okay, Jose Tor Radio, Radio is already commanding another army and will be reassigned. Are you sure you want to reassign the commander? Yes, I do. And in fact, I don't know if I could create another theater of war or not. I know I saw how to do that somewhere. Uh, we don't need it right now. Logistics. I don't think we need it right now. Okay, so reassigning a general. Hopefully that'll give uh, a little bit more of a bonus. To this theater, which um, my offensive seems to be failing. So let's play this out. Uh, in the north, we've got a number of troops entrenched along uh, a Pyrenees front here. Uh, however, the French have piled, looks like they have more troops than I do, which is going to be dangerous. Uh, they must have huge numbers, the French. They're lined up along their border with the Italians, as well as a tremendous amount along the border with the Germans. 
Um, so I hope the Germans get done with Poland soon and start moving on France. Historically, they didn't move on France until I think May of 1940. So can I hold the line that long? I don't know. Uh, I think I'm going to go ahead and deploy this fleet. These are all destroyers. So... Priority. Yeah, I think I'm going to try to deploy this fleet. To hopefully hunt down convoys. All I've seen, really, are convoys. So, I'm going to try to move into the western Mediterranean. Here. And try to hunt down allied convoys. And other than that, those are my strategic actions for now. And let's go ahead and start this. Alright, two engagements I'm involved in. And now we're losing both of the peers. I want, it, I want these, I need these Italian troops to uh, commit. This group seems very experienced. Conscripts from Morocco. Oh, look at that. Awesome. That was a victory. We pushed the armor back. Now the question is, should we continue to push the armor? No, they're in like a elevated mountain position. I'm not going to worry about them. I'm going to let the uh, Italians garrison here. While this... These three divisions... Advance to the front here. And hopefully they'll get there in time. Another armor division, it looks like. We still have two divisions engaged. They added another reserve. Which looks like it just got wiped out. There it is, right there. Falling back. How long will it take our guys? Give me a number. Look at these French armor divisions. I hope the Italians can hold off these French armor divisions. And I have no idea where that uh, colonial cavalry division went off to. What do we have here? Unread naval combat convoy raider battle. Is that going on here? All sunk ships of the convoy. Looks like we sunk two uh, British convoys. Excellent. Naval focus complete. All right, hold up here. Hold up. Let's slow down a second here. Details. All right, army experience. Anti-common term pack. Germany proposed that we sign a pact recognizing that the aim of the Communist International Organization, known as the Comintern, is to disintegrate and subdue existing states by all means at its command. Convinced that toleration of interference by the Communist International in the internal affairs of the nations not only endangers their internal peace and social well-being, but is also a menace to the peace of the world desirous of cooperating in the defense against communism communist subversive activities should we join or should we refuse to join now the Spanish Civil War which uh, would have gone on before this was against communists um, so you would think that fascist Spain is anti-communist um, 
if we refuse, Germany, the German Reich gains rejected anti common turn pact. In our opinion, their opinion of us will go down by 50 points. If we accept and join, um, Germany will get an anti common turn pact signatory. And the opinion of National Spain. We'll go up 50 points, and the opinion of Germany will go up 50 points. So I think the Soviet Union will, um, their opinion of us will go down 50 points. So I don't really want Germany to go to war in Russia, but, and I'm worried that signing the Common Term Pact might convince them to go to war in Russia. But I do want to remain friendly with Germany, so I'm going to go ahead and put, sign the pact. Let's pause this real quick. And we just completed a national focus. Right? Doctrine effort. So the next one. Cruiser effort. Submarine effort. A lot of our fighting has been going on with submarines. I feel like I want more equipment. I feel like I might need more mechanization. I don't know. These are tough decisions. Or what about building an industry? There are a lot of options here. And I have not played for a while. I think I need to get construction up and speed things up because the French army seems to be f much larger than we thought. So I think production will needs to be stimulated. So I'm going to go ahead and go for this construction effort, which will give me an additional building slot and another civilian factory. So we're going to go ahead and start that. And uh, let's click play here and the question is I gotta pause it again sorry can I get this force back in it looks like they're all restored here organization is back up to 62 current fighting strength is 45 percent I feel like I want to send them in Let's go ahead and get that division advancing again. So we have all our divisions minus the 31st, which was uh, hit pretty hard, and uh, the 91st. The 91st looks like it's ready to engage again, too. And again, I'm not sure if I'm doing this right or not. Combat experience with me is limited, but. You always have to, uh, my combat experience is limited, uh, but you always have to give things a shot. This guy has a defensive doctrine. That stinks. I'd rather have an offensive guy. All right, here we go. All right, the Italians have opened up a front against the French here. That's good. Germans are continuing their advance, but Danzig remains a holdout and it's gotten a little bigger. The pocket's gotten a little bigger. However, the drive east for the Germans seems to be progressing. Now, I wonder if this is the Italians that are initiating this offensive. It looks like it is. So, as they initiate the offensive, you would think that numbers along our front might dwindle a little bit. But I can't tell right now. Because they might have gotten a new, uh, some sort of decryption technology, maybe. Low manpower. Low manpower's got me concerned. Okay, I think, um, the tide is turning here. 
Italians are engaging in armored division, and they appear to be winning. Here's that British cavalry. And an Italian advance against them appears to be winning. I want to focus most of my advance along the coast, because that is where most of these strategic resources are located. And it looks like we have them outnumbered, but it appears that we're still losing the battle. Currently losing. Research finished. Okay, let's pause this here. Excavation. This is a good one, I think. Resource efficiency gain. 10%. That's good. Now, the question is, do I continue along that line and go for excavation 2? Which I think is probably a good idea. Uh, let me check out this infantry real quick 74 days for infantry too you know what that might be better what's our current research that's not research there's research currently we're researching light tank prepare defense doctrine I want to go for infantry because I have 27 infantry divisions and I'm hoping that this will allow me to upgrade. Enables infantry equipment too. Okay. Yeah, let's go ahead and research this. Most of our army's infantry. Here we go. All right, we do want to hold on to these two positions, Gibraltar and uh, Sueta. I don't know if I pronounced that right. Look at these guys that are coming in from uh, the Atlantic. Italians are definitely opening up fronts here in North Africa. They capture that port, that's good. And they're in our territory. So the Italian fronts are opening up. And we're winning here. Good. The Italians are actually doing something good in Africa. Ha! That's funny. Alright. It looks like we're finally advancing. Let's get the whole army advancing again into northern Africa all right kind of on November here Naval engagement. What is that? Convoys. We are hunting down some convoys. I wish I could find out how many convoys I've actually sunk. It looks like the Italians have opened up a campaign coming out of Libya into Algiers. So we're pushing on French North Africa from two directions. When is this battle going to be over? Currently winning. Estimated 16, 13 days till this battle is over. 15 days, 17 days. Okay, this just keeps going back and forth. How much longer can this division hold out though? More reinforcements. Pushing everybody in there. Oh. 
18 days. It keeps getting longer. We are now into November. 1939. And it's been about 20 minutes. So, we're going to end this episode here. Hope you enjoyed. If there's any comments about anything, questions, or more, actually more looking for advice, um, you might have more answers than I do. Feel free to uh, post comments down below. And uh, please subscribe to the channel. Thank you very much.